Hey guys, so we've been out today and we've had to go and get more compost and the reason we've had to do that is because my experiment of the of growing the sweet chestnuts this year was rather successful and in the last two days the chestnuts have expanded quite a lot they, they've grown quite a lot um, so the ones that I hadn't repotted on I have to do that today because they desperately need the room so here we go here's our chestnut trees some of them are coming up a little slower than others but the ones over here that have not yet been <laughs> potted on need to be potted on <laughs> as you can see Pretty sure it's a litre but we're gonna pop them in there and then probably next what size up will then be the two litre bucket after that oh, it's quite warm it's just come out of the car so it shouldn't be too bad go look at that the roots already started to curl around <laughs> hopefully I'll give it a bit of extra room for a little while might even have to get the two litre ones before the end of summer by the way these are growing to be honest so just have to kick up roots on the bottom of these. Right, there we go. to grow my own chestnut tree <laughs> so I just watched how he did it and I'll put a link below in the description in the description below to his video on
These ones are the ones that I put five in each because um, I wanted to make sure that um, we had plenty, of, well we ran out of pots, at the end of the day we ran out of pots. So I just want to make sure that each one's got its own pot now. Just going to have to be really careful. Okay, cool. I've already chosen the next nut that I'm going to be doing and they are on their way um, because I kind of I'm getting the nuts that are the most expensive and growing those because obviously they are the most expensive it's difficult to get them and if we can grow our own ones well that's half the fight the battle won isn't it at the end of the day Ooh. This one's roots gone right down. Come on, you. Hello. Hello, rooty rooty. So we discovered that the chestnuts are absolutely covered in aphids as we would be doing them. So what we're going to do, we're going to do what my mum used to do and we're going to foam them. So we're going to get as much foam as we can made because it's the foam that we want, it's not the water. I'm just going to get the whisk. We want the foam, not the water, so anywho, so we're going to take this now outside. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some serious aphids going on on there. So what we're going to do is just grab a little bit of the foam and just pop it over there. Now this works better than the f um, spray. And it will kill the eggs. I know people don't like using soap spray. I don't like using soap spray either. But this will actually evaporate off the leaves. And then it won't be a problem with the soil and stuff. So one down. 32 more to go.
this lot's done and already the aphids are dead um, it's a good part about having it as foam because it's already disappearing off the leaves and the stems it doesn't take long to do its job my mum used to use this for her um, for her roses as well as anything else that the aphids got on top of and she never ever had a problem so that's all good okay so that's the update on the chairs and so far um, out of 33 we now have 32 this one died inside it's not it's no longer viable unfortunately which kind of sucks but it is what it is right so we've still got 32 of them I only wanted one. That means that if the rest survive, we will have 31 for sale. 30 for sale and one for a giveaway. So, yeah, I'll it out anyway. If you want to see the rest of the stories of the chestnuts, I'm going to put a link down below in the description. And